Lagrange dual function can find the optimal solution of the original convex optimization problem. Okay. So I will rewrite the um, definition of Lagrange function in lambda, which was fx plus summation i1 to m ui hix plus summation j1 to l lambda j gj x. And the dual function l mu lambda is minimum point minimum value of lambda x mu lambda with respect to x okay and here this part is the penalty function it's kind of penalty function of original objective functions and the penalty function and the original objective function define the Lagrange function and the Lagrange dual function is concave function with respect to mu and lambda which is the minimum value of lambda x mu lambda with respect to x okay and why this penalty function is good and why with this penalty function we can find the exact optimization problem so imagine imagine um h i x is not equal to zero in the case in the case um we uh the the one of constraints that is not satisfied because we have to make every hix function equal to zero so and in this case we have a um, penalty function term this term and we can control mu i value from minus infinity to positive infinity so when hix is not equal to zero then the corresponding mu i that maximize this Lagrange dual function L mu lambda will be um, the increase or decrease depend on the sign of HIX. So if HIX is um, positive, then we maybe increase the mu i. If we um, deploy gradient descent algorithm for solving this um, concave maximization problem, then if this constraint does not satisfy with uh, this um, minimization problem, then maybe uh, for this optimization problem, we have to increase the mu i. Okay. So if the this solution always have this constraint, okay, that does not satisfy the original convex constraint function and con convex constraint uh, set, then mu i also mu i also will not stabilize, and mu i will uh, change the value by gradient descent thing to um find solution for this Lagrange dual problem. So when hix is strictly greater than zero, then we always increase the mu i. And which means we increase the penalty function to the positive side of hix. Okay, so in that case, to find the minimum point of uh, being lambda x mu lambda to uh, find the dual function we have to find the x point that minimize this Lagrange function and since the barrier function will have very huge value with high uh, mu i value we will have very huge um, barrier for the positive side of hix so when from for this point we have a positive hix and this side so let's say this is hix function and we have positive side here and negative side here 
And since mu i is a positive constant, we'll have uh, some high additional penalty function for this side and negative penalty function for this side. And which increase this um, minimization problem having negative side value. And actually, since this function is monotonically decreasing to this direction, and we have a positive mu i Lagrange variable, the solution of this, so the dual function value L mu lambda for non-zero or positive mu i value, will eventually converge to minus infinity because we can make hix minus infinity and we multiply the non-zero positive Lagrange multiplier mu i then the big lambda x mu lambda with non-zero positive mu i value this dual function will have minus infinity okay but if we set um, mu i value is equal to zero then the this um, max this um, Lagrange dual function when we set mu i equal to zero the this dual function will not uh, diverge to minus infinity uh, by controlling the hi corresponding constraint uh, of fine function hi x okay so um, the conclusion is when we have um, this uh, violate constraint the violate constraint then we uh, naturally have to increase or decrease the corresponding Lagrange multiplier because we want to maximize the dual problem okay and such gradient descent based um, approach to solve this concave optimization problem will change the penalty function so that the penalty function penalizes more for the violate portion, violate uh, condition. And in the end, eventually, uh, your convergence trajectory, your optimization trajectory path will make a very nice penalty function that um, enforce your, your uh, solution go inside the convex constraint set. So this is the conclusion. So with Lagrange dual um, approach, eventually we find the uh, x star and mu star and lambda star. And x star is the solution of the original problem. X star becomes the original solution of the problem. And when we solve the Lagrange dual problem, the solution actually satisfy these four necessary conditions. The first one is stationarity condition. So the, the partial derivative, the gradient of the original objective function plus the penalty function must be equal to zero. So the, the x term and mu term and lambda term is at the stationary point. And the second condition is primal feasibility, which is um, we have to satisfy h i x equal to zero for all i and g j x less than or equal to zero for all j. And dual feasibility means lambda j must be strictly uh, greater than zero or equal to zero for all j. And this is also very important necessary condition called this complementary selectness. The product lambda i star and gj x star mu star lambda star must be equal to zero, which means if this condition is strictly less than or equal to zero, uh, strictly less than zero, then corresponding Lagrange multiplier must be zero if they are solutions and if the solution satisfy this condition at the boundary then lambda 
I, the corresponding lambda I, can have positive value, strictly positive value. Okay, 